Hello, and welcome to my second playthrough ever. I am Ed, and I will be your host, and today we are doing The Legend of Zelda for the NES. So we have to register a name. Oh god, this is an annoying sound. Ed. Fantastic. Oh, okay, register. Yes! <laughs> so the story of this game is, uh... Okay, I have no sword yet. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to go into that cave. I remember now. Because everyone knows this. Everyone's seen this before. It's all... It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Funny enough, last year for Valentine's, I wanted to, um... to print out a card for my girlfriend that said, It's dangerous to go alone. Take this with you. And uh, there was Link with a... with a heart container. And I thought that was pretty cute, and I wanted to get her to get that for her. But for some reason, the uh, well, you had to buy this. It was you were supposed to buy this and then print it out. So it was you know um, a file on your computer. But apparently, when I tried to buy it, it had just ran out. How do you run out of a fucking file on a computer? How do you do that? I mean, Jesus, holy crap! I can understand it. This game, I predict a lot of frustration. I can understand that, um... That an item that you buy at a store would run out, or an item that you order, but something that is stored on a hard drive... How do you run out of that? Like, why? Why would you not want to take my money? I mean, I don't get it. By the way, I have no idea where we're going, because I'm playing this blind. I already lost my beam, which is awesome. It allows me to shoot these guys far away. Fucking dicks. So fucking weak right now. Holy crap. By the way, did you know that in the in the intro when you select your name, if you put in the name Zelda, you get the second quest. What is the second quest? Well, it's basically the same game except items are in different locations and um, and I think monsters are harder. Thank God I didn't do that because monsters are hard enough for me at the moment. Ah, there you go. Fuck you. So yes, I never had a an NES when I was a kid, so I couldn't play this. And later, when this came out for Jesus, oh, crap! When this came out for the Game Boy Advance, I couldn't get it, but I own this game for my special collector's edition uh, Zelda collection thingy for the GameCube. Oh, and there's a cave right there. Oh, let's get in fast before the mobs get me. Try something, will ya? No, sorry dude, I don't have any money at the moment. I might end a few... Jesus, damn. I might in the future, but not right now. Thank you. Oh, okay, they, they, these stay still for a while, so I can I can hit them. They only take one sh one hit, so these aren't too bad. These aren't too bad. By the way, if I suck at this game, which I predict that I will, I I I practice a little bit when I was Jesus when I was doing practice recordings and tests, and I. Uh, I realized that I, I really do suck at this game. This game is, is too hard for me. Oh, nice, a fairy fountain. Huh, oh, fantastic. Alright, so where are we supposed to go? I mean, back... Oh, back then, there were hardware limitations, namely size limitations, capacity to store information. So games had to be simpler, like this. And they they couldn't have complex storylines because of that same reason, because there was no room in the cartridge. Even so, I, I games like Final, Fan Final Fantasy managed to pull it off, so... I don't know why this one can't. But whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind game. I think you're amazing. You're the start of an amazing series of games. So, I will forgive you. Jesus, holy crap. 
Damn it. I really have no idea where to go. So yeah, um, some uh, game developers opted for some workarounds that were, were cool at the time, like... Um, like... Uh, giving out story details and stuff in the manual, and some even in game. They re Jesus, they Jesus, Jesus, holy dicks! They required you to go to the manual. They they would tell you go here and read this, and the manual would give you further information to progress in the game. And I think we found our first dungeon. That that is awesome. Amazing. The keys! The first appearance of the keys. I have no idea why they just didn't call them bats. No, they had to be keys. By the way, did you know that this game... Well, of course, you, you, you probably know that this game was... came from the brilliant mind of uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Nintendo's own Jesus Christ of video games. Created one of the most... One of the most, some of the most iconic video game characters of all time. Like Link. And Mario. I read somewhere, I think, that Mario was uh, more known well, uh, worldwide than Mickey. And that is amazing to me, because Mickey is a pretty important character of my childhood. <laughs> but so is Mario. For that matter. matter. Ah, damn it. I can make this a uh, hurtless run. It's impossible. Anyways, I, I said before. Oh, holy crap, I can't talk and do this at the same time. Am I retarded? Probably a little bit. Jesus. Die. Thank you. Very useful now. Very, very useful. Thank you so very much. More keys. This isn't, this isn't very hard, I have to say. I'm just stupid. It's just more the controls that are hard. But I guess it's because I'm using an Xbox controller. Yeah, why am I playing this in on an emulator for the NES instead of playing my uh, version of the game? Oh, what are what are those slimes? Um, in the uh, GameCube Collector's Edition of Zelda. <laughs> Well, because, uh, well, ease of recording, mostly. Oh, really? That was cool? <laughs> ease of recording, mostly. Oh, cool. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Eastmost Peninsula. Alright, to the east. Fantastic. Thank you, that's, that's very useful. Crap. You can kill the old man? Fuck you. Fire. You're not gonna kill me. Anyways, as I was saying, this came from the great mind of Jesus Shigeru Miyamoto, and um, he based this game off of his uh, childhood memories. He would uh, he lived in close to or in a rural area. I I don't know, and he used to frequently play in fields and forests. And is that the map? That's a piece of paper. I would assume that's the map. Let's get it. Oh, that's the map! Fantastic! And he wanted to give players the the illusion of uh, exploring, and that's what originated his idea for Zelda. He Jesus. He went on further to uh, to say that I have no bombs. I, I don't. I wonder if there's rooms to the right and left. To say that... What are those? Oh crap, you have boomerangs, oh my god, and you have moustaches. Those are amazing, by the way. You look like my dad. Only you have a boomerang, so you're... cooler. I mean, the guy kind of gave birth to me, so... I mean, I'm kind of biased. I like him more than you guys, but you get the point. If it were for him, I wouldn't be here playing with you and killing you, so I, I suppose... He's more important. Backtracking to what I was saying about Miyamoto. Yeah. 
One of the things he said that I remember the most were... Oh my fucking Jesus. How was, this, how was I supposed to know that those were there? Hmm. Oh, cool. I don't start from the beginning. That's, that's an improvement. Anyways. He, uh... I've been here before, so I have no need to go back there. One of his greatest memories was when he was young and he found a cave in one of uh, his adventures. And he explored it with a lantern. And funny enough, that's what you do in a lot of Zelda games. I think this one too. You get a... You get... A... Candle or something? I think it's a candle? Candlestick? Something like that? I don't know. I mean, this game is, is, so far, what's my opinion of- Oh, the compass! Amazing. So far, what is my opinion of this game? This game is, is good. It's keeping me entertained, it is. It's, it's not easy, but it's keeping me entertained. Ah, cool, it tells me where uh, something is. There is something there. Okay, let's try to move on to that blinking red thing on the map. I can already tell that being at full health is a freaking important in this game. Okay. And yeah, this this game is entertaining, uh, and this game doesn't scare me a lot. Uh, what do I mean by that? I'm not a pussy. This game doesn't really make me tremble in my pants. It does, but with excitement. I have a hard on right now, but I'm not scared. I usually don't get Harons when, I, when I'm scared. Doesn't matter. But Zelda 2, um, the, the sequel, the direct sequel to this game, that one scares the shit out of me. Because I remember when I was a kid, I tried playing it, I downloaded a ROM of it. I'm sorry, I was a kid, I didn't know what I was doing. Piracy is wrong. I hate it. Anyways, I got the ROM and I tried playing the game and oh my god, was that hard. Not only do, don't they tell you where you have to go, like this one, well, this one, the guy told me there was a secret in the eastmost peninsula. That's something, right there. I'm gonna try to get that without falling in- oh, fuck you. Uh, mustachioed guys, I, have, I don't have a boomerang but I have my sword. Anyways, I'm, I'm afraid of that game, because that game seemed freaking hard. And I will try to play it through it sometime. Of course, blind, because... Do I even... Oh, I can't fall! I thought this was like poisoned water or something. I can't even go there, so... Ah, I'm safe. These rooms are suddenly... Oh my god, a lot less scarier. What can I push here? Can I push this? <laughs> Fucking shit. I cannot push that. I can push this, though. Um, oh, this reminds me of uh, the Game Boy Zeldas. They have... Ooh, and there's the bow! The bow! Amazing, the bow is useful. Fuck you. Got the bow! Let's equip the bow. How do I equip the bow? Equip the damn bow. Move! No, what? No, no, move! How do I move this? Use B for this item. No, I, I don't want to use B for that item. I want to use B for the other item. How do you fucking change the items? Seriously, how do you do this? God, really? Are you gonna make me... Uh, no, wait, no. Stop. Okay, no. Didn't want that. 